have you have you heard any of the backlash about David Barton? Let's let me look some things up because uh, there's this one YouTube video. It was re it was this woman and she was a professor, I think, an associate professor, and she was sitting there smoking because she was so upset. She was smoking, reading David Barton, you know, the, the book, and like, oh, this is all lies. Oh, these are this is terrible. This isn't true. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put absolutely no preparation whatsoever into this video. I'm going to take Barton's new book. I'm going to take my book, Liars for Jesus, Volume One. But she never talked about what wasn't true. She just said her opinion that it wasn't true. Right. Like, what are you talking about? Where, so you could say anything, but yeah. where are the facts? That's that's always been, when, you know, when you start being challenged what you've always thought to be true, when you start revealing some things in your life that aren't actually true, but you believe that, that they were true, it begs the question, what else do I know to be true, that's actually not true. Huh, no kidding, and a lot of right? people can't handle that, so they ball up, wall up, block up, and they say, you know, they're confronted with truth, truth being offensive by nature. We know this from the word, right? Yeah. And so they become offended because it's truth. They don't want to receive it. So they believe because it it, it, cha it, it does this, this, you know, ping pong in your brain messes it up because you can't, you can't get past the way you're feeling. You can't seem to really back it up with any hard evidence. And... And as I was reading the book, there's there's footnotes on every just about every sentence. So if you have any question to the authenticity, is let me and I did. That's why I'm only ninety pages in. No, I know, right? I mean, I'll be just quite honest with you. I fact check almost every sentence because I want to know what the source is. Where did it come from? How far does that go back? Where's the chain of custody, right, right. for that factual historical evidence? And when you hear the the left, look, call them what you want. Um, I, I have names, but <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll play nice. Don't throw stones, okay? For now. For now. <clears throat> but you have the other side and the other school of thought, and it's it. You know, in one of the in one of the stories, he was he he fathered Sally Hemings' children. Yeah. Okay, come on now. So it'd be like, hey, Greg, I went on deployment. My wife's pregnant, and you did it. You're like, bro, I'm your friend, man. Mm. I'm your friend. Me. You know, that one, uh, save that one, because let's dive into that when okay. we get to that chapter. Because right. that's, uh, yeah, that's something that... I, again, I didn't... I well, saw the list. But, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was reading up on it a little bit, too, and I saw that, and it said that not only did that... He talked about that, but then it went on to Monticello, the the Jefferson... The people... Monticello? Yeah. I've been saying Monticello. Oh. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. That's fine. <laughs> Monticello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, so they, uh, I call it, which is a historical society dedicated to the preservation and of J Thomas Jefferson and his, his work, you know, and his, his body of work. They are the historians of record for Thomas Jefferson, and they say that they, they went with it. And so that's, yeah, I, I plan, but not today. We're going to get into something different because here's, check, check. here's a Southern Poverty Law Center, and I know they're just, they're so unbiased. They're the, they're, they're the standard. Of course. The gold Gold, golden standard. Because the experts say that, right? <laughs> yeah, well, here's it. It's funny you put in quotes because they say here on David Barton, named by time in 2005 as one of the nation's 25 most influential evangel evang evangelicals. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yep. David Barton is a self-styled historian, <clears throat> a self-styled one, mm -hmm. <clears throat> who has acted as a key bridge between the mainstream political right and radical right religious ideology. That's what the Southern Poverty Law. Yep. They said David Barton's ascendant star as a self-taught historian and influential leader of the evangelical far right crashed in a storm of ridicule hmm. when the world's largest Christian publisher recalled Barton's 2012 book, The Jefferson Lies, for too many serious whoppers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, right? That's insane because, I'm, like I said, I'm 90 pages into it because every sentence has <clears throat> a reference. I know, right? You, and that reference has a reference, and that reference, it's a spider hole of historical fact. Fact check that. And this Facebook. is what they do, man. This is they don't they don't tell you what he is wrong about. <clears throat> they don't tell they you that he just he's yeah, wrong. Just wrong. He's lying. And so they, they come with authority, like that woman who was smoking. I'm an associate professor at who cares where, university. Exactly. And so I said he lies. You can just go with that. You know, I don't need to tell you how or when or, or why, but he did. 
He goes, I'm if it's, if I'm an expert because I say I'm an expert and I'm smoking my cigarette, I'm so fired up because I don't even know why I'm fired up because my world's be, being challenged right now. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> so now I'm just angry because I, I have a feeling that the world's told me these lies that aren't actually true. So now I'm upset. I can't deal with that, man. That's too much. Right. So I'm an expert and I'm going to say in my position. And because I say that I'm an expert, it's wrong. Well, I'm an oak tree. So call me an oak tree. <laughs> right. You are an oak. You, will, you cannot be moved. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider catching the full video by following this here card. Also, if you don't mind, consider subscribing and liking this video. It really, really helps out the channel. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much.